Hi, I'm Jacqueline Wilson, and I'm going to read you the beginning of my brand new book about Tracy Beaker. It's all about Tracy when she's grown up, and the story is told by her daughter, Jess. Have you heard of my mum, Tracy Beaker? You'll know her if you live in Marlborough Tower. The whole of the Duke Estate knows my mum. Everyone knows around here, in the shops and down the market and the library and the chicken shop and the chippy and at my school. When we first moved, I called our block Marble Tower by mistake. That made Mum crack up laughing. You make it sound like a palace, she said. I wish. The towers aren't made of white shiny marble. They're just ordinary brick and near the ground they're covered with graffiti tags and very rude words. Everyone says Marlborough Tower is a rubbish place. It's often ankle deep in real rubbish and the boys keep setting fire to the waste bins which doesn't help. But it's our first proper home together, just the two of us. Before that we lived with Cam but it got a bit squashed as lots of big girls live there too. Cam's a foster mum. She looks after them all. She looked after us too. But mum wanted us to have a proper home, just her and me. Marlborough Tower is a dump outside, but we've made our flat really lovely. Mum painted the living room walls red to make it look cosy. We've got a purple sofa too, with red cushions. Mum sits one end, I sit the other. Sometimes I put my feet in Mum's lap and she tickles them. We've got a television and a bookcase because we both love reading and we've got a picture on the wall of a mother cuddling her daughter. We found it in a boot fair for only a couple of pounds and we both loved it straight away. It's by an 18th century French painter, a woman, which makes it even more special. They look a bit like us too, with our dark curly hair. We have all sorts of lovely boot fair and junk shop finds. We have mother and baby china dogs going for a walk along the window sills and a little cluster of china balloon ladies chatting together on the occasional table. We pretend they have a sing song sometimes and warble the Mary Poppins song, Feed the Birds. We have three plaster ducks flying up the wall and a pretend parrot in a cage and little bluebirds kissing beak to beak on top of the television. The kitchen is yellow so it feels sunny even if it's pouring outside. We have Toby jugs all along the windowsill, grinning at us. We got them cheap because most are cracked and a couple have lost their handles. We keep spoons in one, forks in another and knives in a third. I pick daisies and dandelions to put in our Lady Toby jug during the summer and in the winter she has plastic daffodils. We have five tiny teddy bears having a picnic round a huge jar of honey on top of the kitchen cupboard and a very fat pot-bellied teddy clinging to the fridge handle. Our bathroom is green. I used to spend ages kneeling beside it playing mermaids with my old Barbie dolls. I wrap silver foil round their legs to look like fishtails. I have my own bedroom too, though it's not much bigger than a cupboard. It's blue, like the sky, and crammed with all my old toys and cuddly teddies. Mum is brilliant at winning them down the amusement arcade. Cam says I'm spoiled. I know I am, and it's lovely. I don't always sleep in my bedroom though. If I'm worried about anything, I go into Mum's bed. I take Woofer with me. He's my favourite cuddly toy. He's a bit droopy now and doesn't look much like a dog anymore, but I still think he's special. When Mum first got fostered by Cam, she painted her bedroom walls black so it looked like a bat cave. Mum's always been a bit weird. I'm glad her room now is a deep rose colour. She often has rose candles burning so it smells like roses too. Her bed's bigger than mine and she has pretty white bed covers made out of broderie en glaze. That's little holes cut in the material into flowery shapes. When I curl up with Mum, I love running my finger along the pattern. So you see, our flat really is like a little palace, but it's a bit damp. Mum has to keep repainting the walls to hide the dark patches. 
The windows always get covered in condensation too. Mum made me puddle monitor, so I have to whip round every morning and wipe all the sills with a J cloth. They go black and gungy if you don't. I have to mop every pore of the china dogs too, which takes a while. But there are fantastic views out of the windows because we're on the 14th floor. We pretend we're seagulls flying high in the sky. We spread our arms and do that funny mewing noise that seagulls make. We once saw Tyrone way down below us. He didn't look big and scary at all. He looked very small and silly. OK, little seagull, let's poop on him, Mum said to me. We didn't really. It was just pretend, but it was fun. We like it at Marlborough Tower. Like I said, everyone knows us. Well, they know my mum, and so they know me too. I look very like my mum, apart from my glasses. Little, with black eyes and mad curly hair. But mum's loud and funny and isn't scared of anything. I'm much quieter and I worry about things. You're a girl in a million, says mum. You're my girl. That's what a lot of people call me. Tracy Beaker's girl. They don't always remember my name. I'm Jess. Jessica Bluebell Camilla Beaker.